to my channel. In today's video, I am coming fresh face because we are going to be talking all about acne. This month is Acne Awareness Month and I've been going to a few online panels and events and it just really motivated me to share part of my acne journey in hopes of helping someone and I'm also going to be sharing with you guys a few or five of my favorite products right now that are really helping my acne, specifically in this hot summer weather. So if you guys would like to see more, please keep watching. Okay you guys, so first I want to disclaim this because I just feel it's necessary. I am coming to do this video fresh face to you guys. A lot of the times when I am and putting my flaws per se on showcase or broadcasting them it's because I want to help people I want other men and women to look at my videos and see confidence see a beautiful woman both inside and out and know that we're more than our skin so acne awareness month is all about bringing awareness to acne some of the myths about acne and just getting people better educated and informed about acne Acne is something I have dealt with for decades. I have had acne from the time I was probably 13 all the way now into my 30s. I do have adult hormonal acne and so I have quite a few notches under my belt to be able to discuss this topic with you guys. So today's video is actually being made in collaboration with Teamy Skincare. Teamy is actually a brand that has a plethora of wellness products, everything from teas, all natural skincare, moisturizers, eye creams, masks, and everything of the sorts. I really love Teamy because they focus on natural products. That is one thing that's really important during my acne routine. And over the years, I've learned that for my specific form of hormonal acne, keeping products as natural and clean as they can be has really helped me. So I'm gonna share with you guys the products that are my top five currently, staple key ingredients and products in my routine. And then we're gonna get into the ins and out of my skin, what is up with my acne. I know you guys constantly have questions. I don't take any of it to be rude. I know that sometimes you guys are just really interested. So I'm gonna give you guys all the 411. But now I'm gonna share my top five favorite products for my acne skin. This would not be a skincare video about my acne if I did not talk about Timmy's Detox Mask, you guys. This is Timmy's Detox Mask and it contains matcha, lemongrass, and clay. I have been using this for probably a little over a year. I believe I first received this last year, maybe around March, and I really love it for detoxing my pores. Now, because I have acne, adult acne, hormonal acne, my pores get so congested with oil, with dirt, with bacteria. Now, that's something that I do want to just dispel right now. One of the many myths about acne, if you have true acne, as in the medical condition, your acne is not caused by just not washing your face, not drinking enough water, not changing your pillowcase. Those are all great great things that you can use to help treat blemishes, but as far as having acne like a medical condition, sometimes you need products that are gonna be a bit more effective than just your average tip for helping to clear your skin. I love this mask because it decongests my pores so well. It also helps to remove the excess oil on my skin. Specifically in this hot summer weather, one thing I deal with a lot is really oily skin, and oil and dirt gets trapped in my pores, and that can cause acne. So I've been using this mask for years, or at least one and a half years and I love it. It is an all natural mask, so you do want to make sure that you are storing it properly. Be sure to screw that cap one all the way because it can go bad. I always know when it's time to repurchase this mask when it becomes dark green. It's really nice, it smells. It smells like green tea. It has a really nice pudding-like texture. I love it so much. It goes on so nicely. I smooth it all over my complexion and I let it sit for 10 minutes. And when I remove it, my skin feels just nice and detox. My pores feel clean. This really works well, specifically in the summer months because it's cooling. I love a good clay mask because they're really cooling on the skin. So I've been using this, like I said, for over a year and it's one of my favorite masks for detoxing my pores. So if you deal with congested pores, oily skin, anything like that, I think you would really like this. And I use this about once a week. In my mind, masking should be supplemental to your routine, so I wouldn't use something like this every day, but it's perfect for a skincare Sunday. I also have a coupon code for you guys to save 20%, I believe, and I will pop that on the screen as well as link it down below. So many of you beauties have told me you've purchased this mask and love it, and it is just amazing for pores and oil. Can't rave enough about it. 
The next product that has really helped me with my acne skin is vitamin C because not only do I have acne, but as you can see, I deal with a lot of hyperpigmentation. Anytime I get a new blemish, new acne, eye scar, I could touch it, pop it, baby, ignore it, turn around, bring it back. I could do any of the above and I get a scar. My skin scars so easily. Even if I get a blemish on my chest, I get a scar. So using a vitamin C in my routine has been really, really helpful. And recently I've been loving this one from SkinCeuticals. This is the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic Vitamin C with 15% L-ascorbic acid and 0.5% ferulic acid. Now, I always say this product is super expensive. I am not telling you guys that you have to go out and spend this much money on a vitamin C product, but vitamin C is one of those products that helps to brighten your skin tone. Now, if you deal with the amount of hyperpigmentation or melasma that I deal with because hyperpigmentation is a form of melasma. This alone is not going to brighten your blemishes and your dark spots, but it's a great overall complexion brightener and it's also a powerful antioxidant. So it helps protect our lovely faces from the damaging rays of the sun. So a vitamin C can go a long way, but whichever vitamin C that you find works the best is what's best for you. Okay, up next you guys is one of the newest products to my skincare arsenal. This is a product or an ingredient that I just started really hearing about this year and it is the Paula's Choice 10% Azelaic Acid Booster with licorice and salicylic acid. You guys, what can I say about this product? So let me just first tell you that this product at the time of filming this video is out of stock almost everywhere. If I can find it available online, I'll be sure to link it down below. It is always sold out for a reason. It is amazing. So if you are no stranger to acne, adult acne, or hormonal acne, then you know that you always hear about Ben peroxide and salicylic acid but recently I found out about azelaic acid and it has transformed my skin you guys I have been dealing with quite a bit of acne. It's mainly related to stress right now. And sometimes I feel my face and I just have active breakouts everywhere. I put this on morning and night. It's a booster, so you can use it in conjunction with your moisturizer. And it really helps to lessen the acne and the texture. My face right now, I probably have a few active blemishes but it is so more smooth than it was a few days ago because azelaic acid is taking care of my skin. If you feel like you have tried everything topically, salicylic acid or maybe benzoyl peroxide and they're maybe not working as much as you would like them to, try out azelaic acid. I have been highly impressed. As you can see, I'm almost done with this tube. I will forever repurchase this. I feel like azelaic acid is one of like those little known products in the skincare world. I mean, unless you've really delved into this world, this is just like my favorite spot treatment topical product that I am using of the moment. It's amazing. Okay, now it wouldn't be a video about acne if I didn't share this next product. You guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about it. It is none other than sunscreen. Now, I know what you're thinking. But you always telling us about sunscreen. But it's because it's so important, you guys. If you deal with acne, hyperpigmentation, if you deal with anti-aging, any type of melasma, you need to be using a sunscreen. This is my favorite currently. The Neutrogena Clear Face Breakout Free Oil Free Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I've been using this for probably two years. I remember when I first started to see a dermatologist when I was probably 13, they used to always stress about the importance of using a sunscreen but when you have oily skin it can be very very hard to find a product that balances your oil well that doesn't leave a white cast specifically if you have a deeper skin tone and one that just doesn't feel yucky on your skin this is that product for me now I will say that if I'm having a week where I'm erupting with acne and I have to use a lot of products to combat that acne my face does get a little dry I have to use my skin pseudical sunscreen and I've been testing that out I'll pop a picture in the screen I haven't been using it for too many days but I do like that it's a bit more hydrating so if you find that you have oily skin sometimes then you can become a little dehydrated like myself try out that skin pseudical sunscreen but this is my staple product if you are not protecting against the damaging rays of the Sun throw everything else away because you're wasting your money and we don't want to waste money why would we do that so definitely you guys make sure you're using your sunscreen okay you guys my last product is another newer product that I've started using within the last month to month and a half and this is the clean skin club clean slate clearing mist with salicylic acid, rose extract, and eucalyptus oil. 
And let's go ahead and mist our face a little bit. Now you wanna take care that when you're actually misting this onto your skin, that you don't breathe in because I have choked a bit and it will make you sneeze. And you also don't wanna get it in your mouth. But I received this product from Clean Skin Club because I work with them now. I started using their products and I recommend them all the time to you guys because I truly believe in them. So they made me part of this launch. Look how much I've used, you guys. I I think I've used to about there. It takes me forever to use up a product, unless I love it. <laughs> I use this kind of how I use my azelaic acid. I use this as a booster. So I want to say it has half of a percent of salicylic acid as well. Specifically throughout the day, let's say I've gone to the gym, I've come back and cleansed my skin. I use this clean slate clearing mist because it boosts my skin with a little bit of salicylic acid, which I need specifically if it's just a week where my skin is erupting. I found that this really helps to control my acne really well. Now I will preface this by saying nothing has worked for my acne completely. So the products that I use in my routine more so just help control the aftermath of breaking out, not so much keeping me from breaking out. But I love this, it's really simple and effective. I like that it's something I can spray on my complexion throughout the day. And as you can see, I've really been enjoying it and this has been amazing. Okay you guys, so those are my top five products of the moment for my acne skincare routine. Now I will leave linked down below a skincare routine for AM for spring and summer. Next month I believe I'll be doing one for PM, but in there you can find some other products that I use targeted for my acne such as like an acne cleanser but these are the five staple products and ingredients that are really helping me currently that I wanted to share with you guys. Okay let's get into my acne journey and acne awareness month. Like I said I like doing these type of videos bare face because I like to help encourage you all to embrace your skin all your flaws and everything of the sort. My acne journey has been one that I've dealt with for decades like I said. Um, I've always broken out from about the age of 12 or 13 and it has just progressively gotten worse the past year and a half. I'm gonna insert two pictures on the screen of what my face looked like March 2020 or February 2020. Um, I was away on a business trip. I was at a training and when I saw how clear my skin was just a little over a year ago, I was shocked. Now, like I said, I've dealt with acne for years. So my skin never goes through phases where I just have no breakouts overall, but the events of the past year being in the Porsche Panamera and all the stress that has come with everything that I'm dealing with in life has really caused my skin to break out. One of the major stressors for me, <laughs> no pun intended, is stress. Because stress is triggered by your hormones and vice versa. And because I do have hormonal acne, I break out from stress. So all this right now is mainly stress. Um, during the thick parts of the Porsche Panamera, I thought it was because I was wearing a mask, but I have now switched to using a face shield and I'm still getting new breakouts every day. It's just, it's been a stressful year and a half for myself, just like I'm sure it's been for a lot of us and stress really does a number on my skin. There's no amount of water, changing my pillowcase, working out, drinking a green smoothie. None of that is actually going to heal my skin because I have acne as a medical condition. I have used every topical and oral treatment that I've ever been introduced to from a dermatologist. A lot of times when I'm talking about my skincare routine, you guys ask if I've seen a dermatologist and I have, I've been seeing them. Since I was about 13, I have seen the best of the best doctors in Atlanta and unfortunately nothing has worked for my skin. I have been on Accutane, I have been on birth control, I have been on like what other types of medications like cyclins, just every type of antibacterial, anything like that for my skin. I have been on tretinoin, just everything of the sort and nothing has worked. Usually Accutane is that magic pill that's horrible by the way. I was on it in college and it was horrible. Accutane is usually that top ingredient and in pill that's kind of magic that will cure your acne if nothing has worked. And I was on it for over a year and here we are still with acne into my 30s. So. I say all this to say that everyone's acne journey is going to be different. If you are experiencing acne as an adult, specifically hormonal acne, please just know that you are not your skin. People may make comments about your skin, they may poke fun at you, and sometimes it may get the best of you and you might start feeling like, well damn, everybody else around me has clear skin. Like literally, I don't know anyone else in my immediate circle 
that deals with acne such as I do. But the one thing that's kept me going is just knowing that it's just skin. And I know that I'm doing everything that I can to combat this acne, like I said. I'm seeing a dermatologist, I have used different things, but when it gets to the point where you want me to take a pill that causes potential birth defects in my unborn children and everything like that, liver issues, that's where I draw the line and I know that one day my acne woes will be over, but unfortunately I just have really overactive hormones and this is just something that I have to deal with right now. Once again, people who deal with hormonal acne specifically Please stop telling us to drink water or to change our pillowcase or to hang upside down with our washcloth and wash our face upside down. Unless you have dealt with some of the devastating effects of having hormonal acne, you simply just may not understand and what works for somebody may not work for somebody else. Just like I'm sharing my routine and what products I love, they may not work for everybody. And I'm not saying that you have to try all these products. I just wanted to make this video to encourage anyone out there who may be dealing with this and let you know that you're not alone. For Acne Awareness Month, I just think it's important to encourage those of you guys, don't get discouraged, keep trying, keep seeking doctors until you feel like you've exhausted all of your resources and just know that one day we will move through this. Once again, thank you so much to Teamy Skincare for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the description box for all the links and everything of the sort. I love you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.